Hello everybody, Hyper Mario Sunshine here, back with some more Splatoon 2 Octo Expansion. And here we go, we got our... Probably my least favorite phase out of this. And uh, the last part, we finally clicked out all four things, but it seems like Telephone was betraying us this entire time. And uh, decided to use us for an energy source, but it seems like his plan failed some for now, because Agent 3 came and saved us, but Agent 3's also been knocked out. Uh, I think I should have saved that. And now we're on our way to the top, to the surface, but... Also gotta worry about these guys. Oh my god, I almost fell off the edge. So yeah, we gotta use the energy source here to climb our way up here. Let's use this. Oh boy, please. Oh wow, we can't even heal it either. Uh, that's very uh, unfortunate. So yeah, it's kind of like protecting the orb. So yeah, as I mentioned before, there's going to be a lot of... Uh, there's going to be a lot of things reminiscing of your uh, previous stuff. Upgrade our armor here? Yes, we can. No, please, fuck off. Oh my god, that was very close. Oh, fuck off. Fuck off! This is not good. Mm. How did it reach from there? Ugh. We're going to have to be right back for this. At least it recovers HP, so... If we ever do take damage... Well, if this ever takes damage earlier, then a checkpoint makes it go back to full health. Fuck off. Thank you. That did so much damage. Uh, please no more. Alright, we got another checkpoint, and it's fully healed again. We've got lasers blocking the way, switches are on the columns. Okay, this part is at least a little less stressful. Oh my god, I just realized that. Oh my god, I'd imagine that those would do so much damage. Oh my god, they did. Uh. Alright, at least we're starting from here. Alright, there we go. We made it through without much so far. Let's get busy. Alright, we're heading towards the top. 
Seems like we're almost there. This looks like a plug. A giant plug, rather. And... Made it at last! Oh, wow. Energy core installation complete! Alright, we don't have to worry about that anymore. I hate that part. And the next phase awaits us, and it's the final phase. Phase 7. Oh, we're almost to the end here. This isn't very enjoyable, so I, I really hope you guys enjoyed the surprise here. The spinal phase. That's the central elevator. The battery's in there. You can make it to the surface with this. Captain Cuttlefish and Agent 3 signals are close. Maybe they already made it to the surface? Sure hope the uh, Captain Agent 3 are okay. Hey, we'll come and get you with a chopper, so wait there up there with the cap, okay? Checkpoint reached. Here we go. The heli? You think we need it? There's so many chances to use it. We can't let we can't let it go to waste. Good point. Thanks. I recommend covering as much area as possible. Hot the elevator. It stopped. Who's up there? That's Agent Three, but. Yeah, Agent 8, help me! Agent 3's mind has been hijacked by that crazy phone! And if you remember Splatoon 1 music... There's Splatoon 1 music right there, remix. So this is the boss fight with Agent 3! You tried beating them before in the past? Oh boy, they have a baller. You tried beating them before in the past, but unfortunately you couldn't beat them. But now you're having your own rematch with Agent 3, the legendary a agent of uh, the Squid Beak, the new Squid Beak Splatoon. And they're been, their mind has been hijacked by a uh, telephone. So now we'll finally see who is the superior being between the two. Well, agent between the two. And as you can see, it is a remix of the main battle theme from Splatoon uh, 1. Gotta get the high ground here. Oh, they still have the high ground, but still. Alright. Did we do it? Uh oh, she's respawned. Oh my god, she's covering so much area with that. And we've done it! We've defeated Agent 3! And does he, it even does the uh, Agent 3 defeated thing as if you uh, defeated a player. Alright. Oh my, you can still like ink them like that? That's hilarious. Agent 3 is out cold again. Will they attack you if they wake up? <laughs> Captain Cuttlefish 2. That's hilarious. Alright, at least the elevator's going back up. Untie me at once! Alright, there's the ladder. The surface is right above us. So yeah, that was a pretty climactic finale with Agent 3. Doesn't seem quite over just yet. Right, here we are, we've reached the surface.
and it looks beautiful. There's a view of Ankopolis from afar. Eight. And there they are, they're coming in with the helicopter. Eight! We got you! Phew, we can breathe easy now. We fly high, touch the sky. Fight hard until the day we fry. No lie, we don't quit. Don't you ever forget. Here we go again. We stay fresh, never frozen. Reign supreme like the ones chosen. <sighs> you guys. Well, um, are you guys seeing this? What is that? That form? But they are said to have been destroyed so long ago. It's... Human! Not the phone again! Tartar in the house, disabling contemporary speech mode. I am Tartar, an AI construct created 12,000 years ago by a brilliant professor. My directive is to pass humanity's vast knowledge to the next worthy. Okay, it's speaking very fast. Day is the day my vision becomes a reality as I destroy Incopolis and everything within it. And that statue looks very familiar. If you guys don't realize it, it's the Statue of Liberty. Splatoon's uh, definitely likes to reference a lot of real life monuments, and uh, that definitely looks very dangerous. Yo, what in the heck is that? Give me a sec, I'm analyzing it. Picking up a massive amount of energy em emanating from the statue. Uh, that doesn't sound good. Uh, so yeah, the statue's charging up some enough energy to destroy the entire world. How do we stop it? Hmm, let's see. <laughs> she's on a... She's on a, like, Photoshop. So if we cover the entire thing in ink, we should be able to stop it from charging. You're saying we gotta ink the entire hunk of rock? Seriously? We can use the hyper bombs I'm working on, but they're still prototypes. They have to be manually detonated. Agent 8 will be, ha have to shoot one each. Shoot each one. What can we? What can I do? Once the statue isn't charging anymore, you need to hit it with a full power battle cry. Wait, what? I haven't done that in forever. I don't even know if I could do it anymore. We'll only have three minutes until that thing is ready to fire. So use that entire time to warm up your vocal cords. We need maximum pearl. Got it. Blowing up my out my vo voice is a small price to pay for saving the world. And what about me? You can uh be the hype man. You got it. World about to blow. Squidbeak, let's go! Mo Turf War. So finally we get to do Turf War. Defend Inkopolis from the ultimate doom. Agent 8, use the, the ride rails to get around. I'll drop hyper bombs at these locations. So stop dropping five fire hyper bombs on its chest. After 30 seconds, I'll drop five on its neck. After 60 seconds, I'll drop five on its back. After 90 seconds, I'll drop five on its right arm. After two minutes, I'll drop ten on its head. You'll have to detonate all these hyper bombs in under three minutes. Here we go. Hyper bombs incoming. Five on the chest. And Evan Flow is performing as well, so here we go. 
Uh, oh, oh god, I kind of messed up here already. Uh, where's the last one? Oh my god, it's all the way over there. Oh, this is not already very bad. Alright, got it. There's another. Okay, aim for its back. Recapitulating. Agent 8, move over onto its back. Uh, is this its back? Oh, there it is. Oh boy, we, we actually went the wrong way. Alright, it's fine. Ninety seconds dropping on the right arm. Is there number one thousand and eight? You cannot defeat the and uh, the Nils. Oh, 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 oh. All right, heading towards the right arm now. So yeah, there is a bad ending to this if you fail to uh, hit all the targets in under three minutes. Oh my god, there was one over there. Okay, there we go. Alright, here we go. We got the ones on the head left. Alright, one down. 30 seconds till unleashes enough energy to destroy the world. Oh boy. We can actually see him right there. Oh no. That's not good. Oh, I guess we're gonna have to see that bad ending then. Yep, he basically destroys the world. No, Inkopolis! So, yeah, we're going to have to restart here. So, yeah. Uh, that is my bad for that. I guess we're supposed to start here. I don't know why. kind of wasted a lot of time, honestly. Uh, I accidentally made a mistake again. Got the orange ones next. All right, there we go. We got one more here. Yeah, this time we'll get the good ending. Don't worry, guys. Okay, right arm time. Oh no, we missed one. Uh, we missed another one. Oh no!
At least it gives us another go at it. All right, and there we go. One more left. Should be at the top here. Dropping 10 on the head. Is that going to be enough? Come on. There we go. That's one. Two. So yeah, the world gets destroyed uh, if you, uh, that's technically the quote-unquote bad ending. It does show you what happens, which is pretty crazy. Thirty seconds away. All right, we got enough time this time. <laughs> I did. I kind of low-key wanted to show what would happen, so I got twenty seconds left. All right, one left, and we've done it. The statue has stopped charging. Agent Eight, stay there until we're ready. And now we get to experience this. There we have it. Octo expansion has been completed. Actually, wait, I think I might be wrong. That might not even be the Statue of Liberty. That might be like the statue of the the giant statue in Rhodes. I don't know. It could be either. Just interpreted a little differently. So here we have the credits for Splatoon 2 Octo expansion. Yeah, just an entirely new story. It's a little bit shorter than the main game, I think. Since, you know, these are smaller test levels, but still, I think it's still way more fun than the main game, just going through all these, like, different, unique scenarios. Although some of them are repeated, but they do get a little higher in difficulty. Unfortunately, you can't paint the wall like you do with the other one. I like how uh, Agent 3 has a giant band-aid on the back of her head. And yeah, just really enjoyed this. Uh, I guess this is kind of goodbye for Splatoon 2. And I can't wait to play Splatoon 3. I don't know when I'll let's play Splatoon 3. Maybe in a couple years from now, who knows. I definitely, that's probably one let's play I'll confirm, is that I'll eventually do Splatoon 3. And this time I won't separate Octopath, well, whatever the expansion is, and the main story. I'll do everything in one shot. But who knows when I'll do it. Anyways, let's just sit back and enjoy the credits. We saved Inkopolis, well, basically the entire world, from complete destruction. And I, I, it's kind of funny how I got to finally show off that, uh, to show it off, the, uh, the alternate ending of sorts, where Inkopolis d does get destroyed. But, uh, yeah, we managed to save Inkopolis, we stopped 
uh, Tarkar from destroying everything. And we finally made it to the surface. And honestly, I can't wait for uh, what Off the Hook has in store for us in the expansion for uh, Splatoon 3. And, uh, yeah, I can't wait to see what the others... Uh, well, by the time I probably uh, uploaded this and all the other previous videos, I think I've already been playing Splatoon 3 for a while. But uh, I recorded this within back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back days. So, I mean, it's very short, but I did a lot of the other stuff off-screen. So, yeah. Uh, can't wait to see what uh, Callie and Mario have in store for us in the story mode. And also, uh, see our new host, uh, Deep Cut. See what those three are up to as well. Also really like all the... Uh, I mentioned this in my Splatoon Let's Play. I really like how each of uh, each person in the uh, credits has like a logo of a band for their name. Like the font and such that's like similar to them. I think I mentioned a few of them being similar to like bands like ACDC or uh, Motley Crue or Guns N' Roses. Uh, I can't really tell with some of these ones though. Some of these could just be like neon signs with uh, certain uh, things to them. I think a couple also have- oh my god, Monolith Soft? I forgot that Monolith Soft also worked on this. Microsoft is just, like, doing a lot of stuff for Nintendo. That's why I love them. People should appreciate them more. Oh, and, uh... Yeah, they also put the uh, lead Splatoon researcher there. <laughs> oh, I love that guy. He's hilarious to see whenever uh, he has updates for Splatoon. And, uh, yeah. That's it. But there is one thing left that we haven't quite shown off, and it's forgetting 100%. Alright, so thanks for playing. I think we'll save that for a little bonus episode. And, we'll see you guys then. For the bonus episode, what? Yeah, you can also now play as Octolings. Get the Octoshot replica, and that's about it. So if you were to go back, you can actually now play as Octolings. You could change your avatar to be one. Pick between male and female. And, uh, yeah, you do get all the items that you received as well. And, open the box. Yeah, we get everything from here as well. But yeah, next time on... Well, yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you all for the bonus episode. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching my Splatoon 2 Octo Expansion Let's Play. It's been a while, Agent 8. Glad to see you're alive and kicking. I got curious to see how things were down here, and you know, the place has grown on me. Where's who? Oh, Agent 3 had business to finish up and headed out on patrol. If there's anything you've got left for us down here, I'll gladly offer my support. Number 10,008 uh, 10, and 8. Nice to see you have, uh, have you aboard. We applaud you for your efforts, and it seems you safely achieved your goals. Unfortunately, Cambo Co. is in disarray. Thankfully, Deep Sea Metro Service has continued without interruption. All we do... Oh, all we do, we do for the satisfaction of our customers. Please allow us to announce a new service that we have begun to offer. This allows us to exchange your CQ points for items. Alright, so yeah, you could exchange your CQ points for items. So in the CQ points, you hear the sound of a door opening. So yeah, we'll see you all for likely the last episode. Have you noticed, 1008? There's some mem metal data that have been added to the Metro map. So yeah, this is interesting. I think we'll do these in the bonus episodes. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching my Let's Play of Octo Expansion, and we'll see you all uh, going forward for Fire Emblem Awakening.